This is a TI-30XA $10 trig calculator. It has a tangent function, which is nifty. So we'll take uh, any polygon, in your case it's a hexagon, go 360 degrees divided by six sides, right? We'll give you 60 degrees, but that won't do because that's from hip to hip and we need the relationship between common rafter and hip every time, all the time. So 360 degrees divided by 12 equals 30 degrees. Then we push tangent, this tangent function, and it's 0.573, and it essentially it goes 0.573 of 12 inches, you know, 57% of 12, so times 12 would give you the exact number. 6.92 from this corner here, I pull 6.92 from the same corner, 12, and draw a line between, and that's the hypotenuse of the hip, in plan view on the level but we want to find the rake so what we do is just say square plus 12 squared equals the square root of so i went a square plus b square equals c square and this is 13.85 like you said 13.85 now you said it was going to be a 612 pitch roof this is 12 inches on the level here Six inches of rise is also the same rise relative to the hip and plan view. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared, right? 13.85 squared plus six squared equals square root of. And the hip going up the rake is 15.09 inches for every 12 inches that the common run is on the level. We want to put it in inches. So we divide it by 12 equals 1.25, 1.258 is what's called the secant. If you have a 12 foot wide common rafter span, all spans are common rafter spans. You divide it in half, that'll give you six feet, 72 inches, multiplied by 1.258. Let's do it, times 72 and your hip would be 90.5 inches.